So I had all my drawers in after I, I uh, cleaned them and uh, I realized that everything was flat, it, 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 something was missing. So I decided to experiment with uh, some of the router bits I had and I decided on a bead and coke bit that I, uh, that I had and I just made a, a bead on the bottom of each drawer. So I'll, I'll do a closer look and just, uh, uh, just show you how it looks. So this is how it looks with the bead on them. Um, I think it, it helps a lot with the, the look, the overall look of the box. There, it looks more finished. There's a, it's, it's a detail, right? But it, 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 it does a lot to it. So we can actually see where all the drawers are right now. And before it was more like a flat surface, like I said. So um, I'm going to get back onto the drawer slides now. So I just finished milling all my parts for the drawers. I've got, uh, like here, I've got the front piece and I've got the back piece, the two slides. Um, the way I'm going to assemble them is all by dovetails. So I'm going to have dovetails on every pieces. Uh, they're all separated per sets already, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make sure that they all stay in that position. So all the parts are going to match uh, the other components of that one drawer. Um, as for uh, the drawer itself, I have to put a groove on the inside of uh, all my pieces to insert that uh, piece that's going to create the bottom of the drawer itself. So, and, and then also, uh, there's two ways to make those drawers. One is to leave like a, an extra at the back, like a three quarter of an inch to an inch at the back. What that does is when you pull your drawer uh, outside of your box, it stays on the tracks and you have access to what's at the back you don't have to reach in to try to get uh, what's at the back if you would end up putting it at the back fully at the back like I will do uh, all the small items you might actually have to take the drawer out to to reach them uh, the reason why I'm gonna do it that way is because my toolbox is gonna be to put like gouges chisels uh, protractors and, and the such so all lengthy mostly lengthy stuff that's going to go in there so I, I won't have the issue of trying to reach at the back uh, to, to get the stuff that I, that I need to work with. Um, so uh, my next step basically is to go drawer by drawer, uh, create the dovetails for each pieces, uh, create the groove, uh, the slide track on the other side and make sure they fit nicely and then move on to the next drawer. So even though I was really careful when I, I milled the channels inside for the tracks, uh, I have a bit of a difference and we're talking like 16s here, it's, it's nothing big, but uh, what the result of that is I'm gonna have to uh, fit every track individually, make sure I have like a, a perfect fit for all the drawers. So I started with the first one here, I, I did my dado, dado groove inside there and uh, I did all my parts as well, like the groove for the the insert for the inside of the drawer. Uh, after doing that, I realized that if I keep the same measurement, it doesn't fit. And we're only talking like a, maybe a 30 second here, but it's just enough for it to bind and not slide properly. So what I ended up doing is uh, changing my measurement for the, the second one, and then uh, uh, to change it a bit again for the third one. So I just finished all the parts to the first drawer. So we're, we're gonna do a, a dry fit and uh, see how it fits inside the, inside the toolbox. Put all the sides. And I've got this little piece that's gonna make the bottom. Just like that. And then this one here other side there we go now we can check for square Twelve and nine sixteen. So I'm already square. So let's turn around and have a look on how it fits in the slides. 
So this is drawer number three. Uh, I numbered them one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, and so on. So this one would go at the bottom here. So we'll just kind of check with the tracks. It's a bit snug, but it's light. So basically what I'll have to do is, uh, once the glue up is done, I'm going to have to uh, sand the sides here on both sides and until, until it slides gently the whole way in and out. So uh, time to do the glue up. I'll take this one apart and then uh, while it dries, I'll start the next door. One more time Just one more time Just one more time Hard miles To the campfires To the free laughter lately And hard to smile Thank you. 
river crashed A person desert cracks a man Tortured soul of discontent